Guys, music, not just a career for Halsey, it's also given her a way to find some stability with her bipolar disorder. Halsey graces the cover of Cosmopolitan's October issue. She shares with the mag about how music helped her manage her energy. Yeah, she tells Cosmo, I have bipolar disorder and I get bored of bleep really quickly. Music is this thing that I get to focus all my chaotic energy into and it's not a void that doesn't love me back. Now Halsey was diagnosed at age 17 with bipolar disorder, which is associated with episodes of mood swings ranging from depressive lows to manic highs. Back in June, Halsey revealed that she had herself committed to a psychiatric hospital twice to get ahead of the manic depressive periods. Halsey has been open with her fans about her personal life and struggles. She tells Cosmo that she assumed the world would be kind, but that hasn't quite been the case, revealing that she's been slammed by social media trolls, calling her being open and vulnerable, inconsistent with her brand. So it's like as she's opened up and been a little more real, people have kind of had some backlash. Which is really weird that people would be upset about I that. I mean, we're in a day and age where celebrities, as we were talking earlier about Justin Bieber, regularly open up about yeah. the struggles they have, and most people view that as something to relate to or learn from. She's asked, though, on social media if she's a crazy, rambunctious bad girl, or they say, are you an activist, political fundraising, philanthropist? One or the other. It's almost as if yeah. some people have made her try to choose. Well, you can be both. Halsey's response <laughs> to critics and haters. She says, how bleeping immune are you to the human experience? Sometimes I want to have really good sex, and sometimes I want to save the world, and sometimes I might try to do both oh, in the same day. You can kind of like yeah. chew gum and walk so too, or whatever. Ultimately, Halsey describes herself as pretty regular, though she struggles with wanting everyone to love her. She's ultimately happy with not being a picture-perfect pop star, revealing to Cosmo, I love that because I wake up every day wild-eyed and spongy, trying to do things better than the last time. I love that, spongy. Yeah. Halsey previously opened up to Rolling Stone about her bipolar episodes, revealing that the album she's currently working on is the first I've ever written manic. That was her quote, and she adds that the manic periods are, quote, that thing in the back of our minds that drives us to outrageous thoughts. You're controlled by those impulses rather than logic and reason. I love that she's being so open. You're seeing artists, as you were saying, be more open and vulnerable about mental illness especially. You have Kanye West with his album Ye in 2018. Now she's talking about writing this album while being manic and also depressive, and I think that's it's great, it's relatable, and also very inspiring. And by the way, people are going to be, I think, even more interested in listening to her music to kind of see how that fleshes itself out, what that looks like for her as an artist as well.